Hey there geeks and geekettes, I'm going to an unboxing for you, Marvel Legends Avengers Endgame Valkyrie. <laughs> So, as with previous videos, I pre-ordered this set of Marvel Legends for Avengers Endgame Bro Thor. So, we've got him starting to take shape. So today we're going to open up Valkyrie. This figure in box looks awesome. So, there's the Avengers logo, build a figure Thor. There's the side art. Tessa Thompson, her name. There's the right up on the back. Other figures in the range. We've opened Heimdall and Vision. Now we move on to Valkyrie. There's the Builder figure set. The other piece of art. And the bonus stuff on the bottom. Let's open it up. And they've done it again. Posted a big cape through a little hole. So, the detail on this armour is quite incredible. Layers and layers of detail. And there's the keep, which has obviously got a fair bit of detail on it. I still can't work out how the sword attaches. So, no idea how the sheath attaches. But her head tips back this far. And forward just a bit, because again, the hair sort of... Um, Interferes with movement. Her arms do rotate all the way, but obviously with the cape on, that's restricted. Uh, single jointed elbow, like most of the female figures. Wrists do swivel, twist, and hinge. So both arms are the same. She does have an ab crunch that goes back way too far, and you can actually see the joint there. And not so far forward because of the armour. Her legs don't kick up quite as far as other Legends figures, but these armour pieces there are a soft vinyl to allow a bit of movement. She does have a double hinged knee, which does allow her to kick her own ass. Uh, she has a thigh cut so that you can twist her thighs. Double hinged knee, no boot cut, but ankle rocks and pivots to allow for posing. This is quite a small figure. I assume Tessa Thompson in real life is a slight woman. So I'll change down to the desk cam and then we can have a proper look at her. She was far easier to stand up than some of the other figures. I do like the likeness on that face. But there's white paint in the neck ball joint. From this angle you can't see it, but if she's on a higher shelf you'll definitely notice that. So she'll be joining the other Avengers. I still don't know what to do with this piece. And as you can see next to Bro Thought, these figures are quite pro quite possibly in scale because she is quite a bit shorter than Chris Hemsworth, who I believe is six foot three. And there she is with Heimdall, Ant Man, Spider Man, and all the other Avengers I've got so far. I'm not going to leave her there. I'm going to move these about a bit when I start opening the others. 
Guys, that was my unboxing of Marvel Legends Valkyrie from the Bro Thor Endgame Wave. Um, again, a great figure with a great face sculpt. The the body armor it looks really good on it. The paint apps are brilliant. Um, Legends are just getting better and better every time I open one up. They're really impressed by the detail, and obviously getting him finished is going to be quite brilliant. So I've only got three of these left. Um, and they are Iron Patriot, which I will be opening last because he's the better looking of the figures with the Brothor heads. So next up will be either Captain America or Iron Man. I'm thinking Iron Man because he's got this nano gauntlet and all of these sort of extra pieces, different hands, repulsive blasts and the time sort of strap that they wear. So let me know in the comments down below whether I should open up America's ass first or the Iron Man Mark 84 I think. So yeah, that was my review. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Please like, share, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff I ask every video. And it'll help me to grow the channel. Thank you very much. I'll see you again for another unboxing. Goodbye.